Here at home, it is fall and it's Friday. We have a lot of reasons to be happy. How yeah. does the weather look, Brian? It looks like it's going to be more fall-like, and I think people are really excited about that. It's going to take a few more days to get here. The official feel of fall because we're going to bring in not only blowing leaves, <laughs> but also some rain as well with that. So yeah, we, now we know. Remember a week out, we told you about this. We gave you the first alert before anyone else was that we were going to see better chances for rain early next week, and it certainly looks like that's panning out. We also gave you the first alert on 100 degree day today. Look at that, we're at 99. We will top off today as 100. Uh, it's not the latest we've seen 100. Early October we've seen 100s, but it's still pretty late to get a 100 degree temperature. Either way, for the weekend, Mountains look good, just get that strong wind on Saturday, not as strong on Sunday, and that portends to the valley as well. We will likely see stronger winds on Saturday than on Sunday. Noticeable, nuisancey kind of winds on Sunday, but not as bad as Saturday maybe. But we have a lot of energy coming through here. All of this will help drag up the moisture that will be setting the stage for maybe a flood event too uh, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Remember, that's where the flood watches. That means be on the lookout for changing weather conditions. I suspect one of those days will turn into a flood warning if we get a pretty good amount of rainfall. And the projections are a little all over the place, but just to give you an idea, west to east, not as much there, but as we get more into the Las Vegas Valley, could be an inch and a half potential, and then stronger uh, out through, uh, looks like a Mojave County, Arizona. I think Arizona will get hit the hardest, but we have a chance to get more than a glancing blow. So we go from this warm weather to chance for showers with that hurricane, Hurricane Rosa, which was a Cat 4, now a Cat 3, bringing a lot of rain. But once it scoots out, there's still leftover moisture. So once we see Thursday come by, I think in the flow, we might actually squeeze out a little bit more of that. That's why we have several days of what could be some interesting rainfall. Uh, tomorrow, just a warm day, but not the warmest we've seen, certainly. And we cool down a little bit more for Sunday, but then things get very interesting for next week. So good weekend on tap. We just have to contend with the winds. And then 80s, which if we get enough rain on one of these days, it could really be 70s for afternoon highs. And uh, even to Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday still have the potential to eke out a few more showers, but our big rain day is Tuesday, and it'll really start to ramp up for your Monday. So that's the way we're starting off next week. Back to you guys. All right. Thank